YouTube family, what is up everyone, the original girl and B is bringing out episode 4 of Tips Abstract, the series where instead of telling you what guns to use, what attachments to put on those guns, what perks to run, where to post up, and when, I try to teach you how to think about the game differently. And then you can take those ideas and you can take that logic and apply it to your skill set and how you play and, and the customizations that you've made with your classes and then you can become a better player on your own rather than me tell you to set up and do everything the way that I do it and ultimately you just become another grown bee. Just a little backstory on Tips Abstract because I know I haven't done it in a while. Um, this really was supposed to be a big kind of deal on my channel at least for the life cycle of, um, of Black Ops 3. But unfortunately, I went through my surgery and um, I was still in school and I had to put a lot of my focus on school. And then, you know, the little bit of free time that I did have, you know, I had dedicated to, you know, actually just playing games with my friends. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to actually make videos. Um, and that's why you haven't really seen me uploading until pretty much this week. Um, now that school is out and I'm healthy and I am... Um, I'm safe and you know I have some time to just kind of focus on um, some of my own personal things um, as well as you know being able to start uploading again so today in tips abstract you're gonna learn more about reading now this game is rated in for mature so hopefully you are all within ballpark range of 17 years of age or older so I shouldn't be telling you about letters and words and, and basic sentence structures. Um, that's not that's not what the video is about. I'm going to be teaching you how to read the map, and not just the mini map at the top left corner of your screen, but the map in its entirety. Um, this is something that I'm going to break off into three different parts because I feel like there are um, some pieces that are relevant to one another, and I don't want to make the mistake of including everything into one probably large video and then end up having to rush through certain parts. Um, so today I'm going to be mainly talking about how to use your teammates as recon. So what do I mean when I say use your teammates as recon? It sounds kind of mean at face value. Um, it kind of sounds like you're a parasite and you're leeching off your teammate's success but um, essentially not true. Uh, the fact of the matter is you should also be putting yourself in a position where your teammates can use you as recon and that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see teams make um, and we're gonna be talk a little bit about that later but um, for now let me just kinda tell you a bit about what reading your teammates as recon is and um, how you can be successful at it. Now we have things like UAVs and haters that give you information about the game in real time to help you make better decisions. But I always say that a player who isn't dependent on UAVs and haters are far more effective when those things become available. So I'm going to be talking to you about how to use your teammates to get some of that same information. And it starts with knowing where your teammates are. Knowing where your teammates are, knowing what direction they're facing, and that can tell you so much before you even get your UAV out. Um, when you want to, when you start to get more detailed or go more in depth with it, um, you'll want to know what guns your teammates are using, maybe even what attachments and what perks that they are running, and that's going to actually give you a lot of information as well. Um, for instance, um, you know, if you're on one side of the map, and obviously there are many 50-50 situations where, you know, you may not have a UAV, and taking a chance on whether to go left or right um, could potentially get you shot directly in the back if you choose the wrong place. Um, a lot of times, if you just look at your teammates' locations and just pay attention to what they're doing, you can actually make a better decision in those 50-50 encounters, like here, if I need to go right or left and I'm not necessarily sure. If I see my teammates facing one direction, um, obviously this is a lot harder 
when you're um, when you're not in a party because you're not necessarily sure of the skill set and you may not even be sure um, what weapons your teammates are using but if I see one teammate go a certain direction um, and I don't see that that teammate begins to shoot I don't see that that teammate has been shot at um, I can make a decision that no one is there and, and as a result I can either follow that teammate up that path for support or I can take the other route to help space out um, space out the um, the map for us and that's just kinda one simple way to go about um, reading the minimap a lot of times if you are running in a certain direction and all of a sudden you see two or three teammates running towards you chances are there has been some degree of a spawn flip or maybe you're just flat out in the wrong area and um, you need to change your location or change where you're going um, that can often um, keep you from being flanked out and I believe that that is also um, really really helpful when um, <clears throat> excuse me when dealing with trying to read your teammate now I've already done my video on how to give good call outs um, so if you haven't seen that video check that out I will put the link in the description because giving good call outs um, can is essentially adding adding pictures to to a, a novel that otherwise just had page after page after page of just words um, it really really helps because no matter how good of a reader you are of the map certain things are gonna catch you off guard somebody might be running um, a silencer so instead of being able to read if someone's shooting at your teammates your teammates are are dying off and and now you don't necessarily know what direction they're shooting from a call out can really um, relieve a lot of the confusion in those particular situations. <laughs> now reading isn't one of those things where you say, oh I'm on a streak, let me do a few reads. Reading is full time and it's the player's responsibility to try to really absorb everything that's going on in the game at once and that's why I recommend having a primary reader obviously there's gonna be people who read the map better than others so make that person your primary reader for the team uh, I believe it's gonna be that person's job to um, to make sure that you know what weapons your teammates are running um, because when you get yourself in a situation like you know, um, let's say that there is a long pathway and you know you have backup but let's say that particular player is running a shotgun he's not really gonna be able to give you covering fire you know going up that alleyway or down that hill or through that passage and um, that's what the primary reader should know to help kind of get other players involved because really the primary reader can kind of act as what in basketball is a point guard who who pretty much just makes sure that makes sure that everyone is involved and make sure that everyone is playing to their own strengths so earlier I brought up putting yourself in a position to be used as recon and I wanted to close out with one of the worst instances of that making it nearly impossible to make good reads and ultimately make good decisions and that's bad spacing having five people on one far right or left side of the map and then one person just off on their lonesome any old place that is the worst case scenario in regards for not only the primary reader but everyone in the game trying to make a good decision it makes you really dependent on stuff like UAVs and haters to make good decisions because you got five people on one side of the map but what if the enemy's not over there I mean sure if there are a few enemies that way you may bulldoze through them and you could possibly be setting yourself up for a decent flank but that's really really unlikely especially if the other team is good at reads and knows not to all stay on one side of the map being properly spaced out gives you so much more information about the entire map making it that much easier to actually perform successful flanks or successful full-on assaults versus bad spacing which is essentially taking the map font 
switching it down to two point and then changing it to Japanese it just makes it nearly impossible to read. So that has been using your teammates as recon. Go check out that video on how to give good callouts because that's going to play a part in these next couple of videos and I will see y'all later.